Ever wondered if the cheapest gel blaster on Amazon is actually any good? Let's find out together. In today's video, we're going to unbox and put the cheapest gel blaster through multiple tests to ensure that the gel blaster is worth the money. This particular gel blaster is called the Nerf Pro Gel Fire Igniter. It ran me around $5.59 on Amazon, and that's with the 44% discount. It comes with a thousand gel fire rounds, and it's up to 150 FPS. It comes with eye protection because you always need to protect your eyes because anything can happen when you're playing with these toys. For ages 14 plus, and on the back, it says it holds up to 60 round capacity so it holds 60 gel fire rounds in the hopper or the little magazine however you want to call it comes with tactical rails so you can add attachments later on a trigger lock protective eyewear and it's t-pole priming so it's not electric it's actually a manual gel blaster so if you want a secondary aside from your primary weapon we're gonna find out if this is a good gel blaster for the price so let's unbox it and see what's up That is not the proper way to use a knife, so don't use it like that. So right here we have the protective eyewear. As you can see, it looks like it's made out of a cheap material, cheap plastic. But then again, it's good that it comes with protective eyewear because most of the time kids don't wear them. They get hit in the eye and it's better to have them than not to have them, you know? Here's the 1000 gel balls. At first glance, it doesn't look like 1000, but once they grow in the water, you'll see the difference. Now here's the Nerf Gel Fire Igniter. As you can see, it's a small little pistol. For the price, it is not bad quality. It does not feel like bad quality, actually. This is how it looks down the barrel, side profile. They call this right here a T-pole priming, but this is how you prime the, the gun, and then it shoots. This is the other side profile of it. I don't really have a container in my apartment to put the gel fire balls in, and they do need time to swell up and to get to their size. So I have this empty lemonade bottle that I'm going to be putting them in in the meantime. I took off the labels because no free promotion. So I'm gonna put these into here, fill it up with water. Here's the bottle of them, and they should cure, or they should get up to size in about four hours, three to four hours. So right now I'm at my parents' house in their backyard, and right here I have the gel blaster and the, and the gel balls. I let them sit in water for about two hours. You're supposed to let it sit for like three or four, but I'm running out of daylight, so this is how big they are right now. And right here, I have my GoPro ready to film, and I have the target. First test is a range test, then it's the accuracy test. So right now, we're gonna try to fill the gel balls into this chamber, pretty small, so try to do my best to fit as many as I can. There's not really much you can fit in there anyways. So I got as many as I can into the chamber. I don't know how much exactly I got in there, but... So as you can see, the target's right behind me. Damn, first try, kinda curved. Damn, the gel balls are breaking apart. Oh, got it. So that was from like 30 feet away, and a very minimal amount of shots that I took hit the paper. But it did have some velocity to it, so we're gonna try to hit it from a longer range. So now I went all the way down to the other side of my backyard, which is pretty damn far, as you can see. The target's way down there. So we're gonna see if we can hit it. Oh damn, I actually did make it all the way over there, but... Oh, it did hit it! Out of probably like six shots, it did hit one. That's the first one. Got it again. The range from right here all the way down there is probably like 100 feet, actually. Honestly, I don't really know. I'm not even gonna guess on that one, you know? But it's pretty far. Just letting you know, it's pretty far. I know y'all saw me just drop all those gel balls on the floor, but anyway, for this round, until we run out. I hurt my forearm because this lever, this T prime, I ain't digging that. I ain't digging that at all. So for this next test is the accuracy part of this Nerf gel blaster. But honestly, the accuracy on this is not good at all. So random. It shoots off to the side, up, down, side, side, everywhere, you know? But we're still gonna get some shots with it. See if it's more accurate from a shorter range. So for the last test is the durability test. So I'm gonna throw this gel blaster off a ladder and see if it holds up well.
I dropped it off the ladder multiple times. Only the cap from the magazine part that holds in the gel balls broke off. Here's some rattling in there. As you can see, it still shoot. It held up pretty well for it being a $5 gun, you know? Do I recommend it? Probably for a little kid, honestly, if you're a beginner in this. But I would save up some money and get an electric one. Probably a $50 one or a $60 one, preferably. Because those are the nicer ones. You don't want to be pulling that all day, you know? This is not even good enough for a secondary. But if you're a beginner, this is a good one, you know? But anyways, please like and subscribe to Raul the Boy. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and subscribe here on YouTube. Thank you and peace.